Welcome back to 23 Minute Reads with me, Maya D. This is kind of like my virtual book club because in these five minute or so videos, I share with you my takeaways from my current reading. Right now, that is Public Scholarship and Dance by Lynette Ogilvie. As a part of my 23 to 23 challenge, I'm reading 23 minutes per day, every day as an action of self-love, as an investment to myself, and as a way of providing myself with some consistency in an ever-changing world. Hoping that you will join me along in this journey by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and leaving some comments down there in that comment section so that there's an actual dialogue going on. Having in mind that while I have several decades of experience as an educator, performer, researcher, I'm not the know-all be-all for this book. I'm simply providing a space for dialogue. Well, this week I read pages 91 through the end, and here are my takeaways. Let me get my notes. Takeaway number one is assessment. Within the assessment section, I was drawn to the survey portion. I, uh, I love the simplicity of surveys, but um, I can admit that I don't believe that I'm always using them as in a effective way. So this portion provides some, um, some clarity and some ideas about how I can be more effective in that use. And one of them comes in relation to the five point Likert scale, which I never knew that term. I've experienced it in taking surveys in taking surveys but never knew that term so this portion gave me some inspiration to uh, be better about using surveys to um, or as a part of my public scholarship takeaway number two is dissemination what happens with the information you've collected and how is it shared I often tell my children that if they were the smartest person in the world but didn't share that knowledge with anyone, it would be a waste. In the beginning of the book, we're given the same message. Dissemination of information you gain is an integral part of your public scholarship and dance. The book goes on to demonstrate how it can be shared with your institution um, using that Cobes model that we spoke of last week. But what really hit home for me was the appendix at the end. For me, the appendix are a testament to that earlier definition I offered you of public scholarship, which was, it's the application of your expertise in a way that builds reciprocal partnerships in community and solves a problem. The appendix, appendi, I'm not sure what the correct uh, plural for it is, so you can drop that down in the notes. Drop that down in the comments right after you subscribe and like. <laughs> the appendix at the end include lesson plans, um, email templates, checklists, rubrics, and all kinds of other goodies that help you solve the problem of where to get started. How do I get started? So you, as a um, dance scholar, might know that you need to do this thing, be drawn to do this thing, but but not know or not have clarity about how to start that process. Lynette Overby's book offers a solution to how dance scholars might begin, might process that information and disseminate their public scholarship in a way that highlights its value, its rigor and its impact. Takeaway number three is thirsty. I was a little thirsty, not thirsty like fried though, but like thirsty for knowledge. And that's because last week when I got to page 90, I was like, dang, I'm finished the book, but I don't want to be finished. I, I want more. I want to hear more of Overby's insight. So I wanted to hear more of that insight, but was also questioning how I could use what I was getting from this book and, and get more information that I could give to my, my college students. Thankfully, I found our next book, which is also by Lynette Overby. Is that? Yeah. Undergraduate Research in Dance. Get this one. I'm going to start it in the next couple of days so you can be reading along with me. And that way you can drop comments in about the book that you're reading along with me so that it's a virtual book club. See where I'm going with that one. Thank you for staying to the end. Remember to like, subscribe, 
drop some comments down in that comment section, especially if it's a suggestion for another book. Stay blessed, spread a good word, and I'll see you next week.